I'm Kristen Nielsen. I'm a coach and director with St. Croix Soccer Club. I'm here with coach Joe DeMay, our very first MVP St. Croix Soccer Club nomination. Okay. I know for a fact that you worked six years for, I believe, Indiana University coaching the women's soccer. Is it Fort Wayne? Yep, Purdue. It's now Purdue Fort Wayne. At the time, it was Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne, so quite a mouthful. After that, you also went into six years at St. Mary's Shattuck. Is that correct? That's right. And then we are lucky to have you here with us. St. Croix is very proud of all your background and everything you share with the club and the players. Your MVP nomination is partly due to COVID and everything you've done for the webinars and constantly sharing the new content with our players. A couple of questions for a couple of the players had turned in for you. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> One was what age did you get introduced to soccer and what brought you there? Um, it was, we did not have soccer in the time. I, I'm from Northeast Ohio, like between Cleveland and Pittsburgh. We did okay. not really have soccer. I was in first grade. Like one of my first soccer memories is the 82 World Cup. Paulo Rossi scoring a bunch of goals for Italy and that kind of captivated me. And from there, I just kind of, the bug just kind of, I didn't plan to be a soccer coach, but it just kind of happened. So it's better than a real job. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of years experience. With those years of experience and coaching, playing, anything like that, what is your biggest pet peeve in soccer? I would say two things that kind of go together is lack of context for the game. So everything that we do in practice should relate to how our club wants us to play the game and how okay. we as coaches see the game. So when I see things that, well, why are you doing that? Like, how does that relate to how you want the game to be played? That is kind of a pet peeve. And then when I see players go through the motions a little bit, um, I always say, if we're going to go have a light day, it's mm -hmm. for time. We, we always operate at 100% intensity because if we're not at 100% intensity, right. we're not going to get better. Um, now, that's if you're practicing. There's a time and a place where I'm just going to play around with my friends and have some fun. That's different. Right. Um, but if you're there to get better and not just play and have fun, um, then I think those are two different things and players need to do a better job at sometimes recognizing. Getting that 100% in, yeah, whether it's yeah, a light exactly. day or heavy day. Yep, yep. Really quick, another question. Yeah. What is the weirdest smell you have ever smelled? The weirdest smell? <laughs> wow, is this a player question? Uh, shin guards. No, goalkeeper gloves. <laughs> goalkeeper gloves. That may be the grossest smell, also maybe the it's weirdest. It's also the weirdest. Like if you've ever smelled of the wide variety of goalkeeper glove smells I've, I've smelled, then yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely goalkeeper gloves. Another uh, question that was turned in was, is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no question about it. Like, oh, I guess if you put it in a bun, then it is a sandwich. Okay. If you eat a hot dog without a bun, I'd question why you're eating a hot dog, but... Right. Yeah. Okay, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back to athletics and superstitions. Okay. Things like that. So, everybody seems to have a jersey with a number on it. What is your favorite number, and was it ever your jersey number? Uh, I played goalkeeper, so number one is the traditional goalkeeper number, okay. so number one all the time, every time. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, number one. Um, yeah. When I see a goalkeeper with, like, a weird number, like 12, yeah. or I see a field player with number one, sorry, Kylie. No. Uh, <laughs> no, go just I'm always kind of, like, weirded out by that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and I played with one frequently. Not all, right. all the time, but most of the time. What's your favorite color? Ooh, um, I would say navy blue or okay. blue. Yeah. All right. Then just kind of wrapping it up one more time, really. Uh, St. Croix, the families, the coaches, the players, we're lucky to have you, and we want to say thank you. We oh. appreciate your time and effort, and we, you support us, and I know you have a support system at home, I'm sure. You have a family, a wife, and children. How many children? I have two children. They're both grown. They're both out of the house. So <laughs> one lives in New York City, uh, in Brooklyn, and one lives, just moved, just graduated college from St. Cloud State, and now lives in uh, Marquette, Michigan. Oh, that's right awesome. Fiance, so yeah. That is amazing. And my wife, Sherry, uh, yeah, we're empty nesters, and we quite like it. <laughs> Great. The uh, girls that you have, did they also take a loving, uh, loving soccer and play it as well? Um, my older one played until high school and then said, because I was a coach, like was kind of nervous about asking me if she minded if, if she quit. And I said, I don't like, as long as you yeah. find something to do, like yeah. what, what is something that um, you're passionate about? And she ended up getting into speech and debate and doing a lot of plays. Okay. Um, so that was her thing. Um, and that took her into art school, fashion design school. Yeah. Um, and that's what she does now in New York City. And then um, my younger one did play. 
Um, all through, she played through high school, played at, at the college level, uh, and now as a as a retired retired soccer player. So, budding coach, maybe we'll see. <laughs> I hope so. I definitely hope so. Hopefully, she'll be brought here as well. We again just wanted to say thank you. All the wonderful noises in the background. We did at an interview, of course, <laughs> at the fields because this is where we see Coach Jame all the time. Yeah. Again. No, thanks. I appreciate it. It's, it's it's been great being part of the club, and and I'm really enjoying it. So, and I appreciate. Uh, the, the nomination for the first uh, MVP award. So thank you. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Have a great welcome. evening. Thanks.